What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Wednesday, April 17th, 2024. Just got to the shop this morning. Last two days, I was in Orlando helping out Pipe Doctor Home Services of Central Florida. Sad to leave. Made a video about my departure on the Uncensored channel. And uh, we recorded some good content. Replaced a um, double check valve, a pressure reducing valve for a home, and we even installed domestic hot and cold water piping in copper and two inch DWV waste piping for a shampoo sink inside a house that, yes, was permitted, got, permitted, uh, got permission with the approved permit to run the piping in the fashion that we did. And the next day, not even 24 hours after completing the work, got the seal of approval from the plumbing inspector of the Orange County Building Department. Hate all you want. Shit don't freeze in Florida. Anyway, this morning, we're going to two commercial buildings. One is an urgent uh, MD place, and the other one is a bodega. Um, at one location, we're putting in a one inch Watts RPZ, and the other location, we're doing an inch and a half, sorry, inch and a quarter Watts RPZ. I got some reducing couplings to make that um, relief drain line go outside. We're gonna get that on the video. But first, I wanna give a special shout out to two individuals who sent the company some gifts. For starters, it looks like Gigi and Stoli got a little gift and uh, we'll cover up his, uh, his address, okay? So it's from Bob Shaparit. Uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> it says a treat for Pipe Doctor mascot Stoli and Gigi from a YouTube fan. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll bring these uh, home later today. Also, we got a uh, special gift from Jeff Aron from William, William, Williamton, North Carolina. Happy and healthy Pesach to you and the crew. Mike, I'm going to send you an email. A lot to say from Jeff. Um, I got some some chocolate, and yes, it's kosher for Pesach. And I got we got some Manischewitz um, little fruit slices right there. Very nice, very, very nice. Thank you so much, really appreciate that. I think I'm gonna thank both of them with a official Pipe Doctor hat, and maybe some Pipe Doctor swag, like some stickers and maybe even a pen. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get the day going. Thank you. Smash that thumbs up button, and let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below after you're done watching the video. Let's get going! Here is that, that water meter, water service coming into the building. We've got a, a, a one inch double check valve and the problem with this, it needs to be an RPZ. It needs to have means to discharge uh, any potential hazard going back into the city water supply. So we're gonna cut this out. We're gonna put in the Watts one inch RPZ. We have an isolation valve before the contamination device and one after. So we should be able to isolate this, isolate that, cut this out. We'll drill a hole through here, uh, pop out for our drain uh, in PVC and uh, call it a day. All right, this is the new valve. It's gonna be a little tight here. Gonna be a little tight here. I'm not going to be able to uh, spin that on with this connected. We're going to have to get a little creative here. All right, let's close this valve. Let's close this valve. Let's get a bucket. We're going to crack this union right here. Drain down the piping. Water's in the piping right here. And uh, we'll cut here, loosen this up, and we'll spin the valve off the male adapter. And then spin this back on. 
Hmm. You know what? We'll put a union, a female adapter union right here. We'll have to shorten this back a little bit, but we should be all right. Let this drain. I don't want to lose that washer right there. Let's be careful not to lose the washer for the meter union. Put that up top of the water heater. And uh, let's loosen up. All right, just scoping out everything. Let's uh, loosen these up. And then uh, we're gonna put in a one inch press by male union right here. All right, so a little bit of a change of plan here. I'm not touching that male adapter right there. This is gonna sit right there. See where that lines up? I'm gonna put in a one inch street 90 there and then put in a, uh, a one by three quarter uh, fitting by press adapter. They're reducing uh, coupling right there and that's gonna adapt to the three quarter. So I'm just gonna loosen up those two. We're gonna cut here. We're gonna take this off that and uh, spin this on. to her we're gonna have fun melting this down in the uh the propane melting furnace we're gonna do that on the the mikey pipes smelting channel you know smelting with mikey pipes yeah it's gonna be fun all right so here is the wilkins 350 xl that one inch double check valve we're going to uh spin that off i'm gonna take the uh the watts and put it in its place and we line up just almost perfectly there, right? Almost, almost. The actual body of the uh, cross connection device is, is wider than the double check, obviously for accom accommodating the relief as well as the valves. But um, you're not too shabby. We're gonna put that on there. She's gonna work out really, 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 really nice. Actually thinking about maybe not put a union there, but why not? It'll make it life. It'll make the life easier for the next guy uh, when there comes a time to replace this in, I don't know, 10, 15 years. All right, so we're using the Blue Monster PT, FE tape. Try to wrap that around six times. And we're gonna take a little bit of a uh, pro dope. Put that on there as well. It's a little coating there. Just to help loop it in a little bit. I know what you guys are saying, Mikey. I wish use a pipe wrench. Well, to the truck. This works. And at least I'm holding back with the larger wrench. And if you notice, I have holding back with one and using the smaller, tightening into the other one. Okay. And now, let's tighten up that union a little bit. There you go. Okay. So, there it is. 825.
All right. Let me tighten up the union on the building side of the meter. And uh, we'll press that one in. All right, let's close that. Let's open. Oh, let's put this back on. All right, that's back on. Let's fill that back up. Let's open. Okay. So now, shutter valve number one is holding. We have test port number one, two, three, and four. Number three is still open. One, two, and four are closed. There's the building supply, not disturbed. So we just have whatever air is right here. I'm not worried about that. We're still gonna drill a hole out outside for um, discharge drainage of the relief. All right, so I just drilled a pilot hole. It's gonna accommodate the two inch going through the wall for this four by two reducing coupling and this two inch street 90. I use my Milwaukee hammer drill. Got a hole right there, and it's outside. All right, there's my hole outside. I got my larger uh, Milwaukee rotary hammer. The one in 916 spline. It's a big bad boy. Oh, looks like someone's been getting busy here, huh? Oh. So let me, let me hammer through this. You may be wondering why Mikey Pipes didn't you let it spin? They only put it in hammer. Well, let's just say that we lost the pilot bit. So I just put it on hammer mode. And since it was going through like butter, I said, you know what? Let's keep going with this. And sure enough, worked perfectly. All right. So there is that four by two reducing coupling. And then the two inch street 90, the hub, it gets inside the wall. And I got 11 and a half inches of uh, two inch to put in there. Let's go cut a piece. All right, I brought a length of two inch pipe uh, from the shop. I put it on the roof of my truck. I'm not even taking it off. I cut 11 and a half inches with the Sharpie. We're gonna cut this right here uh, and get it in place. Outside, I got that two inch street 40, uh, street 90, and I took some cement, cemented around the hole that was there. I learned my techniques from uh, Tom over at uh, Pipe Doctor Home Services of Central Florida. He taught me to keep some cement in the truck, just like Conrad from K Plumbing Service in Lexington, South Carolina, told me that we should have uniforms, and my company started wearing uniforms. So we can all learn from one another and together make the trades great again. Let me show you what we got going on inside. So here's that Watts one inch and full disclosure. Let's see, there it is, 317. 986, the LF009M2QT. Came out really nice. We used the Vega press union right there for mail. The Vega one inch street 90. And we reuse the existing, no drips. And let's just get a note of our model number, sorry, serial number of the Sure. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video that I posted 
on the install of the Watts RPZ cross connection containment device. If you are in the uh, New York City, Long Island metropolitan area and you got a letter from your water authority stating you to have it tested or installed at your property, give us a call. I'd love to help you. 516 348 6300. We're based in Woodmere, New York, for our New York office, and would love to help you if any residential or commercial plumbing or HVAC need. In case you guys don't know what HVAC stands for, it stands for heating, ventilation, air conditioning. Catch you in the next one. Be well, God bless, stay safe.